Fox News Flash Top Entertainment and Celebrity Headlines are here. Check out what clicked this week in entertainment. Jussie Smollett's Defense attorney said they will be appealing the actor's guilty verdicts Thursday following the conclusion of the trial. A jury found Smollett guilty of five of the six charges of disorderly conduct against him following a nearly two-week trial. After the verdict was read, Minai Uche told reporters Smollett was disappointed and that he is 100% innocent. He said, Smollett's team is confident he's going to be cleared of all, all accusations on all charges. The verdict is inconsistent, he said during a press conference following the verdicts. You can't say Jussie is lying and say Jussie is not lying for the same exact incident. Actor Jussie Smollett, center, returns to the Leighton Criminal Courthouse, Thursday, December 9, 2021, in Chicago. Smollett was convicted Thursday on five of six charges he staged an anti-gay, racist attack on himself nearly three years ago and then lied to Chicago police about it. AP photo slash nom why, huh, Jussie Smollett convicted of staging hate crime. Lying T.O. cops the defense attorney remained confident in the appellate system and the Illinois Supreme Court. We are confident in our appellate system, Uche said. We are confident in our Illinois Supreme Court, and we're confident that at the end of the day, what's out? They're in the news media and in the gossip forums are not going to stand a chance in court. Smollett's Return came after the jury notified Cook County Judge James Lynn that they have reached a verdict in Smollett's trial. AP photo slash nom why, huh? Click here to sign up for the entertainment newsletter The Empire actor was convicted Thursday on charges he staged an anti-gay racist attack on himself nearly three years ago and then lied to Chicago police about it. In the courtroom as the verdict was read, Smollett stood and faced the jury showing no visible reaction. The jury found the 39-year-old guilty on five counts of disorderly conduct. For each separate time, he was charged with lying to police in the days immediately after the alleged attack. He was acquitted on a sixth count of lying to a detective in mid-February, weeks after Smollett said he was attacked. Click here to get the Fox News app in this courtroom sketch, Special Prosecutor Dan Webb, left, cross-examined Smollett on Tuesday, December 7, 2021, in Chicago. AP photo slash Cheryl Cook, Judge Lynn said he will order a pre-sentencing investigation and attorneys will meet via conference call to determine a date for pre-sentencing motions the judge also said the jury will not be speaking to the media today if they ever choose to. He is also having deputies escort them to their cars. Fox News' Julius Young and the Associated Press contributed to this report.